Alien invaders, fairy tale monsters, and dueling wizards have little need for proofs and equations. But it is the steady stream of mathematics that the computer animation industry relies on to produce the fantastic visuals found on our cinema and television screens, as well as areas of 3D modelling such as car design. The UK is a market leader in this sector, generating sales of around £375 million a year. And many of Hollywood's biggest releases are brought to life by visual effects generated in UK post-production houses. Our animators' artistic talents delight millions of viewers around the world, and their work is supported by UK mathematicians. But being a relatively young area of mathematics, there are still many problems to solve. Mathematicians have developed two key ways of representing 3D objects, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. The NURBS method is favoured by those in the computer-aided design or CAD industry, such as car designers, while film and video game creators in the computer animation industry prefer a method known as subdivision surfaces. In both methods, control points are used to build and shape the 3D models, but the key difference lies in the nature of the surfaces they produce. A CAD model of a car might use just 1,000 control points to define the entire vehicle, but the underlying mathematics of NURBS transforms these points into a model detailed enough to be machined in a factory. The two methods have the same mathematical foundation, but over the years have been developed in different directions. Now a team of mathematicians and computer scientists have devised a method that unifies both techniques in the same mathematical framework, pushing forward the boundaries of the 3D design and animation industry. Huge challenges faced by animators include modelling natural phenomena such as water, so it can be controlled to meet the director's requirements and still look realistic on screen. Animating such complex areas is a difficult problem, since the equations used by scientists to realistically model water behaviour are too slow for animators to use. Mathematicians must discover how to simplify the advanced simulations that still give a realistic appearance, but don't match the true physics of the situation. By maintaining partnerships between academia and the industry, we can continue to power the visual spectacle of films and 3D modelling for the next decade, bringing both financial and cultural wealth to the country. It is essential that we have a strong mathematical foundation to support the digital arts if the UK is to continue to dominate the creative industry.